an introduction, right? He called me a flame. You can't only go up from there, right? <laughs> Complimentary flake. All right, so how are you guys doing tonight? Yeah. If you weren't good, would you tell me? Close? Anyone tell me? You know when you ask it, what is that, that voice? Like a cat. What was that voice? <laughs> um, you know when you ask somebody how they are and they go and they go fine. And they go fine. You ever had that? You know they're not fine. You just get away from them. You know I'm not gonna ask them anything. But you know some people ask you how you doing, right? And uh, you don't feel good, but you can get away with it by saying fine. Fine can mean effed up, insecure, neurotic, and empty. <laughs> yeah, right? And anybody here from Mill Valley? Anybody here from Mill Valley? Woo! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Tiburon, Tiburon. So you can say effed up, insecure, neurotic, and entitled. Oh! Oh! I just lost the room. That took me 30 seconds. That's a great one for me. All right, you know, oh, I forgot. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anybody from Ross here? A Ross hole? Any Ross holes? <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 You're, you're going to remember that, right? Ross Holt next time. You go, I'm from Ross. You're going to think, Ross Holt. <laughs> right. Okay, so I look at this crowd and I go, I, go, it's, it, I want to say it's the largest, it's the best, it's great that this club has an AA meeting. It seems like it's the biggest AA meeting in, in Marin County. But I look at the crowd here and I see it's like more like an AARP meeting. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Well, who's your favorite comedian? Anybody have a favorite comedian? Jeff Schneckerberger. Somebody say Cosby. Yeah. Cosby? Yeah. No, not Cosby. My favorite comedian is Bill O'Reilly in Fox News. <laughs> <laughs> With the sound off. The sound off. It's a favorite in my family house, too. My father loves it. But unfortunately, he doesn't think it's funny. He takes it seriously. And I want to do this com uh, comedy stuff years ago, and he said to me, he goes, you know, he goes, you're not going to make anything in comedy, you're not going to do anything with it, you know, just stick with what you're doing. And my mother gets so nervous, she makes me a steak. Because in an Italian family, you make food, you know, to ease the pain, you don't know what else to do. I said it again, I go, I'm going to do more of the comedy, I perform every so often, and he goes, you're not going to do anything with it, my mother makes me a steak and a dessert. <laughs> You know, well, they're so they're so Fox News Republican these guys that when Obama won the election, my mother got so upset she actually made a full four course dinner just in case. Right? Okay, that joke I'm taking out of here. That worked eight years ago, not now. You see how long I've been doing this, right? Okay. You know, when they said we were going to be the draw of doing this uh, workshop with Johnny was we were going to perform in the video. We're going to perform at Throckmorton. We're going to be at Throckmorton, right? So we thought it was the big room. Big room, right? Throckmorton. That was the whole thing. Johnny was a little bit of a draw, but Throckmorton was a big draw. He'd always want to do it. And then he, and instead, we're in this place that looks like some cross between a child's version of Versailles, <laughs> the same decorator did the Trump and Saddam Hussein's house without the gold leaf. And then I realized there's drawings on the wall. What is this? I go, this is the goddamn daycare center of Throckmorton. <laughs> that's, that's what you're in. We're in the, we're in the Throckmorton Daycare Center, you know? So anyway, you know, Mill Valley, I gotta tell you, Mill Valley, you know, it's, uh, Mill Valley, how many people are gluten free? <laughs> you know, right, 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 right. How many people are you? How many? <laughs> I mean, yeah, put your hand down. Right, right. Sure, you got you. What can I say? How many of you are depressed? Uh, yes. There's a, there's the same hands that I know. You know? You people, you people need to think about the, the gluten free thing. You know? And you know what? 200 years ago, everybody was pretty much gluten free or organic, and their lifespan was 45 years. You may want to think about that. <laughs> Um, did someone say gluten is healthy? Gluten free is healthy, right? No, okay, all right. Just want to make sure. All right. So, um, you know, it's Martin Luther King weekend. Anybody have any special plans? Special <laughs> plans at all? No, I'm not sure. You what? Tahoe. Tahoe, great. You know, a friend of mine, friend, I'll go right off that. A friend of mine, a friend of mine who has to work, he said to his employer, he said, you know, I'm half black, can I take half the day off? He was serious. He was serious, and then he got the day off. You know, let me see, what else can I tell you today? Um, I'm from a, uh, basically a typical Marin family, which means I'm clinically depressed. <laughs> oh, that worked. Okay, good. Okay. You know? How many people have iPhones? How many people have iPhones? Do you like your iPhone? Oh, yeah. Do you like the Apple Store? No, no one likes the Apple Store. You know why? Apple Store, you go there, they're supposed to be helpful. 
You just kind of sit around. You don't know where to stand because they don't have chairs for anything. Basically, the Apple Store is like a new DMV. It's <laughs> 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 the, the new DMV, right? Now, all right, what can, I, uh, what can I leave you with tonight? I go, a friend of mine, I try to be a good friend. And sometimes you do things that you don't want to you don't want to do. But my friend said, will you go to this SAA meeting with me? Do you know what SAA is? Really? Oh, some of you do, I know you do. It's sex addicts and all. <laughs> oh, like you're surprised. Really? <laughs> really? 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 You know, so, yeah, sex addicts and I'm just like, oh, sure, I'll be a good friend, I'll go with you. And plus, I may find a date. <laughs> so when you go to these meetings, you know, you go to these meetings and then you have to, I don't know if you, I, like some of you have been in one of these, I don't know. Anyway, so you go and you have to introduce yourself. So they go, hi, my name is Mark and I'm a sex addict. And everybody goes, hi, Mark. Hi, my name is, you know, Carl and I'm a sex addict. Hi, so I said, oh, okay, I'll play along. I'll go, hi, my name is Anthony, and I'm a sex addict. Hi. And then the last guy goes, hi, my name is Bill, and I'm a visitor. And I go, no, no, I didn't know you could say that. I want to change my answer. I'm a visitor, too. I'm not a sex addict. I'm a visitor, too. All right, so that's about it for me tonight. Thank you. Very much.